Hello everyone and welcome to a really quick unboxing video and test of a funky little box that is quite annoying to buy. Um, I didn't know, you know, it was. It, it's a bit annoying that I had to buy it because a lot of Dell monitors come with composite inputs. But nevertheless, it wasn't that much of a big deal. Uh, it's about 15 or 20 quid if you want to buy one of these on Amazon. And basically all it does is you can think of it like turning your computer monitor into your telly. So it kind of adds a composite jack to computer monitor. The annoying thing about this is, you know, it's composite in, it's VGA out, um, which is nice. So good standard definition, you know, connect like GameCube, N64, whatever to your computer monitor. But a couple of downsides. First one being it takes its own power supply for obvious reasons, it's got conversion going on. So it takes its own little power supply, so it takes up yet another socket. Another annoying thing, it's a load more cables behind the desk yet again, especially with all the audio cables and stuff that I'm going to have to be uh, adding in to uh, do all this. But, you know, it doesn't matter. I'm quite looking forward to seeing if it works. Um, this one, you know, they're all kind of unbranded and stuff. It doesn't appear to have any kind of specific brand, but um, it comes in two variations. You can either convert VGA to composite or you can c convert composite to VGA. Um, and of course, I want to convert composite to VGA to plug uh, my GameCube into my computer monitor for a bit of a reward after... Um, doing all the annoying stuff with college work and all that stuff. My camera's giving me a little bit of a warning saying it's got no space left on it, so I'm just gonna delete a few things before I continue. So I'm back, I've got full battery and a load of space, so let's just dig into this box. Let's open her up. First things first. Wow, this is it. This is how small it is. This is the actual converter itself. Hey, hey, nice. It feels quite nice, really lightweight, but it's kind of soft to the touch. It's like felty kind of feeling. It's really nice actually. Along this side, you've got a load of buttons. So I assume this has some kind of interface. Makes sense because of things like resolution and stuff, I assume. On this side, we have the uh, power input. Over here we have the, oh wow. This is really cool actually. Um, you have composite S video and VGA input and then the VGA output here. Now this is really, really cool guys because um, I guess if you only had one port on your monitor, um, I use DVI with my computer anyway, but if you only had one port and you wanted to still use your computer with other stuff, you could just plug your computer in here, plug your consoles in here, and then still output via VGA. So that's really cool. That's the nice, uh, nice little box, very lightweight. Hope it's gonna last. And then under here, ah, very nice. We've got various things included. Uh, we have a Composite to composite cable would have been really nice for them to include a male to female That would have been really handy because as you guys know the only console that you know has the only you know Common console that has actual composite jacks on it is the NES and uh, you know I'm gonna be using an AV multi cable, but it still doesn't matter uh, S video cable very nice of them to give you this very 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 nice They give you a single VGA cable, which is a nice VGA cable actually because it's very thin and probably the thinnest VGA cable I own, so I'll probably use this VGA cable, it doesn't need to be very long, looks really nice, glad about that. Here we have a power supply, UK power supply, pretty basic stuff, nice and small, plenty length on the cord, and then we have the instructions, which are nice and simple, they often are with these kind of products, various diagrams in there. Um, I will probably need these if uh, it doesn't fire up properly straight away. So I am going to put back the stuff that I don't need. So that includes this composite cable. Um, actually, let me think about what I'm going to do. Let me think, let me think. No, I don't need this. I don't need this. Um, I'm going to go and put back the S video cable. I would like to get an S video cable for my GameCube one day. It would be really nice. What would be even better is component video, but those cables are really expensive. Uh, let's put the little bag back and close this all up nicely, just in case it doesn't work out for me and I have to send it back, because that often happens when you buy obscure video adapters. It just doesn't talk to your hardware properly sometimes. But um, because this is all standard definition stuff and 
it should be pretty basic. I'm hoping it's going to work just fine. So I'm going to grab my GameCube, which happens to be right here. It's been living on the top of my G3, wanting to be plugged into my monitor for ages. Um, but I'm going to have to move it off my G3 for a short while, just because of the cables and stuff. And my audio cables haven't come through, so I can't hook my GameCube up to my computer speakers yet. So I'm going to have to hook it up to my amp or something like that so um, yeah we'll just cross all these bridges when we come to it but basically what I'm trying to say is let's uh, fire it all up and see what happens now then I've decided I'm going to use this this is my little friend you guys have seen it before I love these adapters basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and find where is it uh, here we have my GameCube AV multi cable I'm gonna throw this in here Okay, like so, which is awesome. Then I am going to grab my this cable that I thought I wasn't going to use, but I am, and that is going to come out of my output here and into my funky new box like so and then audio wise let me just go and grab the cable here we have it phono to 3.5 mil jack so that will allow me to grab this plug it in the output here and then plug this end into some speakers, which is gonna be really cool. So that's the setup. Obviously here for video, I'll plug the VGA cable in there. Might as well do this live actually. Makes for a bit of a longer video. Haven't done a video like this in a while, unboxing of a basic little product, but here's the VGA cable, really quite nice. Like I said, really liking this VGA cable. Let's just check I've got it on the right way because I don't want to bend any of the pins in this cable because, man, this is a nice feeling VGA cable. Lovely of them to include it as well. Really, really nice. So everyone, we have a successful setup. If we just have a little quick look at the setup then. I was an idiot and I plugged the VGA into the VGA in accidentally. Uh, I didn't read it. It says on the bottom, VGA in and out. But yeah, um, what's happening is the audio is going into my surround sound processor for now because I'm just waiting to get a splitter for my, for my computer speakers. Then it'll be on my computer speakers. But as you guys can see, the GameCube is successfully on that monitor. GameCube is over there on top of my G3. And I'm waiting to throw all these cables back behind my desk. But yeah, I'm just going to give you guys a little demo now, so let's leave you guys there. And uh, this is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, love this game. Um, but yeah, one of the main reasons why I'm doing this is because I'm going to dig my capture card out and start doing game reviews again really soon, because I've got this scar spitter on here, I can put a load of consoles on which is sweet. So uh, yeah, let's give it a little bash. <laughs> I'm a bit out of practice with this game guys, but to let you know the quality is pretty damn good for what it is. Like I keep saying, this adapter was really cheap. It's weird when you start off these games because these skaters have got no stats or anything like that, so... Oh. But yeah, this is awesome guys, really cool. Um, What's really awesome as well is I can put another output on this SCART thing and I can play all of these consoles on the projector, which is really cool because I've still got a composite cable and an S video cable running back to the projector as well as HDMI now.
Oh man. Okay, so that's one game. Let me just show you another game. Okay, so here's Mario Kart Double Dash. Start game. One player. This is some Grand Prix. Uh, yes. Mario. Yoshi. Awesome. And let's see what course we're going to select. Let's just go for that one. I'm officially crap at Mario Kart, by the way, guys, just to warn you, but I'm just doing this to show off the uh, colours and stuff. Uh, damn it. Oh, crap, I rode right into that one, didn't I? Oh, no! <laughs> But as you can see, guys, it's looking absolutely wonderful. I mean, you can't go wrong. For about 15 quid or 20 quid or whatever it was, I've forgotten how much it was now. I'll try and leave a link in the video description. But you can play your consoles on your computer monitors without a worry. <laughs> okay, so that's a bit of Mario Kart guys, you can see exactly how this thing works, it looks wonderful. I'm going to clean up all the cables now and I'm going to enjoy some GameCube. Uh, Waybird controller would be awesome, just going to wait until I can save up a little bit more money because they do go for about 20 or 30 quid on eBay, definitely worth it though. Um, really pleased with this. Quality's not bad. Um, I was expecting pretty much what I've got, and uh, it's nice that it's full screen. So, well, guys, it's hours and hours later, and I've just been editing this video, and I've just realised that my camera, um, something happened to it. It just kind of stopped recording the last clip. This was my last clip anyway. I didn't really say anything. I just said bye. But there has been a little bit of an update since then. Um, I told you in the video that I was waiting for more audio cables to come. Well, looks like I've wasted my money on those audio cables because. Um, I just had a quick look on the back of my subwoofer, my surround sound subwoofer, after recording this video, and I noticed there was there was an auxiliary input. Now, um, this computer speaker system is actually a 5.1 system. I've got the front left right there, but it does have a centre and a rear two channels. Uh, I don't have them set up. I haven't had them set up for years and years. I've had this system for a long time. Um, but... What's pretty cool is I looked on the back and currently I'm plugged into the green jack um, coming straight from my Mac and you know that's dedicated to front left and right but there's also a black and an orange for uh, dedicated other channels like you know centre and rear and stuff. Um, but there's also a white input, and the white input is just an auxiliary jack. It's an auxiliary 2 jack for uh, Source 2 that may just be stereo. So it sends it to all the speakers. Um, so all I did was I took the 3.5mm cable that I've got coming off that phono lead on the SCART splitter, and uh, listen to this, I've got Mac audio right there. And if I turn on my GameCube, I haven't got the monitor switched to a different input, but if I turn on the GameCube, You can hear the GameCube startup, so that's absolutely wonderful. 
Nintendo. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm really pleased with that, guys. Um, the cable mesh is kind of minimal. If you look back here, it does look quite bad. Sorry about the low lighting, guys. But, you know, you have to have a lot of cables to just do what you want to do. And uh, I will, after college and stuff, I will be tidying my room up and uh, trying some more innovative things. But yeah, for now, I'm loving this. I've got my laser pods out of the way um, because they're both on the blink, actually. This one's completely disintegrated, as you can see, because I did have a little look inside it. Um, but it's lasted a long time. And on the instructions, it said don't run for longer than three hours. And I've had it on pretty much 24-7 for about four years. So um, that's good. This one. Um, not sure, not too sure what's going on here. It's making a crackling noise, but it, it sounds a bit loose anyway. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. I might open that up and have a look at it, but um, I'm planning on get, getting some different kind of LED lighting stuff for the behind my desk. It would be nice if I could fire the laser pods back up, but for now they're just going to go into the cupboard until a rainy day where I've got a chance to look at them. So again, thank you very much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.